had pretty good stuff, just didn't locate. And I, I would have to say probably the same with McIntyre, um, you know, and you can't do that down there with that lineup, especially with the wind howling out like it was. So I think they'll be fine. And, you know, as of right now, I mean, Adcock, we may use them on Friday. It's hard to say. Uh, hey, Dave, how you doing? Um, hey, how would you say Holland's pitched for you this year? And how do you like him in that Friday night spot so far? Well, it hasn't been too big for him. Uh, he, I think he likes it. Um, he knows it's always going against, at least most always going against the other team's number one pitcher. And, uh, you know, he seems to step up to that challenge. He's been really good. You know, he's been consistent. He throws strikes. He competes. Um, you know, he's got three or four different type pitches. He's got a couple different type of breaking balls. And uh, when he's on, he's really good. And you look at Alabama, I, I didn't look through all their games, but I know Hess started last Friday. What would, what what do you think of him? And he looks like he's there, you know, and he, he leads them in innings and stuff. What, what 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 do you think of him and maybe what challenges he presents to y'all's lineup? Yeah, he's uh obviously really talented. They they have they have three legitimate starters. What I mean by that is a lot of teams at this time of the year are looking for that third guy. I mean, they could they could run all three of those guys out there on a Friday night and be fine. Uh, you know, their Sunday guy, uh, you know, hit lefty, really good, really talented, projected pr really good draft. And then Holman, the same, you know, he's got a great arm, throws, he might have the best velocity, but they uh, they all have really good arms. They can pitch. And, you know, Hess has just been a consistent pitcher for them. And, um, you know, what problems does he present? He's just got good stuff. And, you know, when, when he makes a mistake or leaves a ball out over the plate, we need to make good contact. And if not, it, it can be a long night. Yeah, I got a couple more, but I'll, I'll turn it back to Oliver. Thanks. Andrew Ellis. Yeah, Coach, it seems like there's not really a ton of let up in the Alabama lineup. Like all their guys have pretty similar numbers top to bottom. Just how taxing is that when you have to face that so many times throughout a three-game series? Yeah, we, we felt this before the season started that Alabama was going to have one of the best teams in our division. Um, probably, if not the most experienced team, real close. Um, older team, guys that have been in their program from three or four years. Um, even the sophomores played a lot as freshmen. The juniors obviously have played a lot. They've got They've just got an old, older team experience or don't get rattled, you know, and they got out after us last year. They beat us the last two ball games over there um, at their home field and then beat us in the tournament. Um, so we, we know what we're up against. They're just, they're tough to get out. They're experienced and, uh, you know, they, they started on the road to Florida and ran into a, obviously a really good Florida team. And then last weekend, you know, three tough games could have gone either their way and they they scratched out a win on Sunday and uh with Hagen Smith you know of course winning the game is going to be the main priority but is there a thought to maybe try and get creative with the way you guys use him just to see what all works and what doesn't well I mean I don't know what you mean by creative we just bring him in when we feel like the game's on the line or if we have a chance to win it I mean if we're down four or five runs we're not going to bring him in uh you could see him start this weekend we'll, we'll just you know, in this, in this league this year, and it, it might be this way going forward, and I've said it many times, with SEC is not going to be a, a young league much anymore. The teams are all, all going to be really talented as always, but now they're going to be older than, than normal. It just looks like with transfer portals and all that, all that you can do to bring in players, um, just winning games on the weekend are going to be big, whether you win the series or one. If you get a chance to sweep somebody – that's huge. So we're just going to try to win the game that's in front of us. Daniel. Hey, uh, Coach, there's going to be probably a good amount of wind, at least on Friday. Just kind of what kind of challenges does that present to the team, even at home? And what do your pitchers need to do to kind of rebound from their struggles last week in Alex Box? Yeah, you know, there is going to, you know, it's projected to be, Really windy Friday evening. Um, it looks like the wind during the storm is going to be more out of the south, southwest. 
storms roll through, it's going to be more of a westerly wind, which is going to be probably blowing out to left, uh, you know, 15 to 25, maybe more miles an hour. So who knows? You know, obviously you got to keep the ball down. It's nice if you can uh, strike a few guys out, keep that ball from being put in play a little bit. Uh, you know, we played in the wind here before. You just figure it out during pregame and you try to handle it. Uh, you know, as far as what went on on the weekend down there in Baton Rouge, it's you just you got to be better. You got to be sharper. You got to throw the ball where you want it and uh, make them hit your pitch and work ahead in the count. And really, in game two and three on Saturday, we weren't ahead in the count as much as we needed to be, and that that uh, caused a lot of problems. Robert. Coach, you talked about those games in Tuscaloosa last year. Uh, I'm curious, with with the way your team performed, do you, do you have any maybe added motivation to to come out and beat them this time around? Um, you know, I mean, last year's last year, but you gotta you gotta use it a little bit just to, you know, talk about the experience. I mean, at the time, it was the last series of the year, and we weren't playing real well. Obviously, we were scuffing around a little bit, fighting for wins. And we had just lost couple of games in a row to Vandy here and Vandy had a good team and they pitched us extremely well. Uh, it didn't go great. And then uh, when we went over there in one game one, which is a Thursday game and then lost two straight because um, we just weren't scoring at the time, pitching that great. Couldn't get the big hit. It kind of continued on into the tournament. But, you know, I think what we did do was leave that tournament over there uh, in Hoover and come back and regroup and uh we knew we had a talented team so honestly uh i don't think it was a bad thing losing i, I would have liked to have won them all and won the western division we didn't and uh, we but but we did come back kind of figure it out and uh went to omaha and won a few games so uh you know i i think that maybe the the losing you know kind of gave us an opportunity to figure out, hey, how much longer we want to play, and our guys wanted to play. Coming back around, Hutch. You gave Slavens the day off on Tuesday and said he had a really good BP. I'm curious, he kind of gotten off to a slow start in SEC play. Was that maybe uh, purposeful to try to maybe get him refocused? Do you think that maybe just what he needed? I think sometimes you need to take a day off and, and just kind of watch from the side and relax and – uh, you know, that was his day to do it because we, for the most part, you know, except for Jared Wagner, that he's the only guy I really haven't given at least one day off, I think, throughout the lineup. So uh, uh, I just felt like Brady could use this week to gain his strength back and, and, and hopefully, you know, have a really good weekend for us and uh, shuffling up you know, some things and, uh, you know, in the lineup the other day, I, I think was a good thing. And uh, I feel like Brady will, he'll be, he'll be ready to roll tomorrow. And Stovall's also gotten off to a little bit of a slow start in SEC play. What are you seeing from him? Yeah, just, I think he's a little more anxious than normal. I mean, he's a guy that's pretty patient. Um, you know, he's been ahead in the count and he's gone after pitches and maybe over swung a little bit. Um, gotten himself out, you know, flying out, take, take a walk. I mean, he's a, he's a guy that knows the zone really well and uh, maybe trying to do a little bit too much. And I don't think that that's him. I mean, he, uh, other than that, I, I think he's going to be fine. Bob Clazell. Dave, you look at the the top of uh, Alabama's bat, and they got I guess Williamson and Pinkney hitting three sixty, and I think Sheldon's got eleven home runs. They're they're batting three eighteen as a team. Just what do you make of those their top hitters and just their you know the depth of their lineup? Yeah, the lineup's good. Um, those guys are tough outs, hitting for average. There's some power in there. I mean, they're they've got. I mean, they're hitting. If you just go over at, you know the season so far. You know, they're they've got they're 10, 12, 15 points higher in, in team batting average than we are. They've got more home runs than we do. Uh their ERA is lower than ours by a lot. And uh so we know what that we've got our hands full. Um, you know, then you you know, you have to preseason, non-conference, 
it's it's not always apples to apples because of who you play. But I think with with their team, it doesn't matter. They're they're just good, and they and they're going to be they're going to be a major challenge for us and for every team in the league going forward. And you touched on this the other night. You guys have been such a good home team, especially with these these SEC teams. You know, there doesn't seem to be much margin for error against anybody. Um, how how important is it to to you know keep playing well at home like you guys have been? Yeah, I mean it's big because you know you you look at where we have you know, the road trips that we have ahead of us, you know, at Ole Miss, and at Mississippi State, you know, I think we're at Georgia, uh, at Bandy. There, there's really, you know, you're looking at those series on the road. It's hard to say, yeah, we're going to go in there and win two out of three. So, you have, you know, when you're at home, you got to take care of your home field. If not, you got to go make it up somewhere else. Yeah, I think I'm good. Thanks, Dave. Mm -hmm. All right, Coach, thanks for the time. Okay.